Hi, I'm Mr. Gordon, and I'm going to be teaching you about, in algebra, collecting terms and simplifying expressions. So, I have some idea we, quest we do questions which we're going to be doing during this lesson. But first we need to define a few things. So we're dealing with algebra, which is when we use letters to represent unknowns or variables. So for example, when we write 2x, what we mean is we have two x's. So we've got an x plus an x, which is 2x. Now that x, we don't know what it is. It's unknown or it's variable. So we either don't yet know what that x is or it's variable. So its value can change in different scenarios. So when we're dealing with letters, that's what we mean. Over here, you see we've got lots of squares and, and, and lines, then we've got some bigger squares as well. So we're just going to define something for you here. So I'm going to say that a small square like this, that is equal to 1. So if we have two small squares, that must be equal to 2. Mm, now if we have a line, let's say we've got a line here. I'm going to say that line, it's 1 high, and I'm going to say it's x wide. So the width of that line is x, and the height of that line is 1. So 1 times x, 1 times something, is something. So that line there is x. Now, I say that x is variable. So you might look at this and think, OK, so here's the square. That's one wide and x is four wide. But this is variable width. So this could be any width. That's still x. That's still x. It doesn't matter how long that line is. It's still x. In this example, though, I'm going to be using x of line length one. So let's have a look at some questions. 1 and x. Here is our 1. Here's our x. I'm just going to label them on the first one. So there's 1 and there's x. So this is representing 1 plus x. Usually we write the algebra, the variables like x, we write those before the constants, so the 1 here. So we're going to write that as x plus 1. We can't simplify any further because these are different kinds of things. Again, we're not counting up the fact that this happens to be four wide, because remember, this is variable width. We don't know how wide that's going to be. So our answer here is x plus one. Pause the video and have a go at this one. So in this case, we have one plus another one plus x. We know that one plus one makes two. So we have two plus x. Again, we write the x first, so we're gonna write x plus 2. On to the next one. Remember these longer blocks, these are x. So I've got x plus x plus 1. How many x's do I have in total? Two of them. So instead of writing 2 times x, we just write 2x instead. So 1x, 2x plus 1. Note that my answer isn't three. These are different kinds of things, okay? These are variable length, they're x long. We don't know how long it is, but it's x long. We've got two of them, and we know that this block is exactly one. So two x plus one. Have a go at this one. You should have got x plus x, which is two x. We don't have a constant to go with it. We don't have a number by itself to go with it because there isn't one. We don't see any of those little blocks next to this one. Next question. This time we have one, two, three X plus one, two, three. So whilst you do these, do draw them into your books as well. Now it should be nice and quick to draw them into, into your books. Let me just show you how. So if this is my exercise book here, and I wanted to have a go at one of these questions, this is how quickly I can do it. I'm not going to use a ruler. I will have had the learning intention written down already. I'm going to do equals x plus 1. So that's how quickly you can do it into your books. doesn't need to take a long time. Pause the video, have a go at your go. 1, 2, they're both of type x, not 1. So we've got 2x plus one, two, three, four, five. Doesn't matter what order they are in. 
So here, I guess, I've got one plus, well, it's the same thing, it's just been rotated, that doesn't matter, that's still one plus x plus two plus x. So in total, we can count the x's, we've got one, two x's, two x, remember, we don't write the multiplication sign in the middle, two x plus one, two, three, one, two, three, two x plus three. So we've simplified this expression, 1 plus x plus 2 plus x, into 2x plus 3. Have a go at this one. x plus 2 plus 2x plus 1. 1x plus 2x, 1, 2, 3x, plus 1, 2, 3. 2 plus 1 makes 3. 3x plus 3. What on earth is this thing? Okay, so we've introduced a new kind of thing here. Let me draw it over here. So what we notice with this new kind of thing, and each of these are terms, so one is a term, x is a term, and whenever this new thing is, that's also a term. That's the language that we use as mathematicians to describe it. We notice that the width of this is the same as that, so it's got the same width as x. That width is x there. We also have a height, which is x. So we have a square with width and height both being x. Now, if we had a square and the width and the height were both 2, the, the area of that square would be 2 squared, which would be 4. So here it's going to be x times x. So it's x times x, which we would write as x squared. So this shape here is x squared. So we have 1 plus x squared. Again, we write the largest power of x first. So we write this one before this one, but we have 1 plus x squared. We would write x squared plus 1. Have a go at this one. So again, we've got the larger blocks. So we've got x squared plus x squared one of them, two of them. We've got two lots of x squared. Now, we need to be really careful. If we have two x's, here are our two x's, we would write that as 2x. That's different from x squared. Two times something is not the same as something multiplied by itself, the square of something. That's really important to notice. And in this case, you had two of them. So that's where the two at the front comes from. And the little two up here, the squared, is because they are the x squared blocks. OK, last question. I've got 1 plus x. So I've got 1 plus x plus x plus 1 plus 2 x squareds again. So in total, I've got 2 x squared plus 1, 2x, 2x, plus, uh, run out of space there, 1, 2. So we would say this is 2x squared plus 2x plus 2. Have a go at the last one. Okay, so we've got, let's just count them here. We're not going to write this down here. We've got 1x squared, 2x squared, plus 1, 2x, plus one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's how you collect terms. We've got, just to go over, we've got our constant, one. We've got x, and we've got the square of x. We've got x squared. And we drew them, and we wrote down the expressions in their simplified form.